Actually, Dad, he was diagnosed with uh, myelodysplastic syndrome probably 12 years ago. And it just finally took its toll on him. And he was at the hospital. He had fell at home, actually, what had happened. Luckily enough, he hadn't broken anything or he was just too weak to get up. So they took him to the hospital and they started giving him some IVs and they also gave him some blood. He ended up having like, I don't know, like six or eight pints of blood. And it just, that disease was just eating it up as fast as they put it in. So his doctor <clears throat> suggested, you know, when really anything else they could do and he suggested to go ahead and bring him over to hospice. We told him that we were gonna bring him to hospice. Of course, dad being, you know, in his eighties and you know, as soon as you say hospice, okay, I'm going to die this week. I'm, it's, I'm done. I'm finished. When they brought him over here and got him set up, he was spiteful, uh, angry, <laughs> didn't want to be here. You know what I mean? He fought to help tooth and nail. I mean, all the way, you know what I mean? For the first week. Then after a while, he started seeing how nice and kind these people were, you know. He couldn't do anything to make them mad, honestly. He really couldn't. Um, they would come in, you know, and always have a smile on her face. And, uh, what do you need, Mr. Lewis, you know? And he'd bark at him a little bit, you know. Not not mean, but just trying to get, you know, trying to get them stirred up. But he couldn't get them stirred up. They wouldn't do anything. Except try to make him happy, make him comfortable. Um, everybody here at hospice, really and truly, I from the volunteers, you know, that helped fix the food for him, fix, fix the meals, the help, the nurses and all. I just, I can't say enough about him. Uh, the main thing, once dad got here, I'm gonna say probably in about six weeks time, they had nursed him back to where he was actually starting to get better. I think it was such an experience for him and for us, but mainly for him to know this place actually almost turned his life around where he could almost go home. And the only reason that happened was, was because of the people here.